Ooh, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Tundra here coming at you guys with another video. In the last video, we talked about bloater, but in this video, we're going to be talking about this just creature that just reminds you of Left 4 Dead's very own Hunter. But we're not here to talk about Left 4 Dead's Hunter. We're here to talk about the guy who's modeled at the Hunter, Pharaoh. Now, when we talk about fair, we're talking about a fast-paced creature with some high keen reflexes. And he does have high keen reflexes. I will say this. He's not the easiest person to hit. And we're talking about anywhere from green to dreadful. You know, where he can be a problem but he's not that much of a problem he is more so of a flea on sight type of special infected and i will say this he he is most definitely flea on sight because any person if you are not within your vehicle on state of the cave if you are on foot and you manage to come across him you are not staying and fighting this guy i'm, I'm telling you right now you are running and you are running for the hills, you're running for your car, you're, you're running to create some space from this guy. However, even though he is a big threat, he is not as big of a threat as he is on Lethal and Nightmare. Because let me tell you, just like how I said, Bloater is running around with a squad. Like he has a squad of Bloaters with him. This dude can be seen with probably up to three or four of these guys. And if you <laughs> if you are very unfortunate, unfortunate to actually come across that pack of pharaohs, you're it's GG's. You you're done for. Alright, you're you're done for because you're not getting out of that if you're not in your vehicle. So the best thing to do on Lethal and Nightmare it's to be in your car if you if you see a pharaoh coming at you on lethal or nightmare dread dread is it's a 50 50 it can be a problem at the same time it won't be a problem but in this particular moment lethal and nightmare it is a problem because he is going to do a lot of damage to you i'm, I'm not even joking when i say that neither this guy is going to do a lot of damage to you however not only will he do damage to you but what makes the feral such a more difficult special infected is that even in your vehicle he can cause a lot of damage and what i mean by that is if you're trying to run him over okay you will you know, K, you, you, you're going to KO him. And at the same time, you're also going to cause a lot of damage to your vehicle. However, if you are just now getting into your vehicle while he is on you, he's literally going to rip off the doors. Like a one hit rip off them doors, you know. So and that's what you have to deal with when it comes to both lethal and nightmare is that even in your vehicle, he's going to do a lot of damage to you and damage well, he's not going to do damage to you but he's going to do damage to your vehicle and like i said it's normally him just ripping off the door hinges and if you're still trying to get at him but yet he gets to you first he's ripping you out of that vehicle so now you are in a defenseless state because now you have to run around you got to dodge him you got to evade him however if it is a pack, a pack of ferals, it is without question GG's for you. It's it's completely game over for you at that point because he's he's not gonna he's not gonna allow you to make it at all. So in my opinion, when you are playing anywhere from green to dread, you can avoid him. I mean, even on Dread, he's going to cause some damage to your vehicle, but it's not going to be on the same level as Lethal or Nightmare. I can tell you that. It, it won't be. So, anyway, from Green to Dread, um, the best thing to do is 
avoid them you know that's one thing you can do another thing you can do is run on top of your vehicle get on the hood or whatever part of the vehicle you want to get on and just get them from there you know do not get into a a direct fight with this guy because you're you're not gonna win i mean you can on green you can you know do something to him but however another part that you don't want to do you just don't want to get into him because he's just going to keep getting up and up however on lethal and nightmare that would be a grave mistake for you because getting into a battle with this man it it won't work out because first of all like i said he does have high reflexes and he has there by high reflexes i do mean he has quick reflexes that he does he has quick reflexes but if you're trying to go up against him on lethal and nightmare you know with just a melee weapon again it's going to be ggs for you you're not going to win that battle even if you're trying to go head on with him and then you're just like man i can't get him so now you're trying to run away from him and you're trying to hop in your vehicle that door is coming off he's he's ripping that off and if you still can't get away, he's ripping you out of that vehicle. So, again, it is pretty much GG's for him. Well, not for him, but for you. And if trying to run him over is what you're going to do, then you're just going to damage your vehicle. If it is a pack of them, I really don't know what to tell you. If it is a pack and you're driving, then you're just going to have to deal with that vehicle just being damaged. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. That vehicle is just dead and gone you're gonna have to hop out you're gonna have to roam around because once that vehicle is damaged if you're not in a clear line of sight i don't i don't know what to tell you you might have to get out of run evade do the best that you can but no the pharaoh is without a question one of the most annoying zombies is because he's gonna chase you down he's gonna tear you to shreds you're playing lethal and nightmare it's it's ggs if you come across this guy you know unlike screamer uh, unlike juggernaut who you can avoid feral he's coming at you you know you can't avoid you you can avo avoid bloater on lethal and nightmare there's going to be packs someone running around of course when you're driving at full speed you're going to end up probably smacking into one of them but as for Pharaoh, you do have an option to either see a pack of them, go the other way. They're coming at you. You just keep going. Don't get out. You got to have to do the best that you can. If you want to try to run them over, you can run them over. But always know this. You will cause a lot of damage to that vehicle. A lot of damage. So that's the price you pay on Lethal and Nightmare when it comes to going up against this guy. But like I said, even with fighting, he does have high reflexes. He is going to dodge him. He is a problem. And that's just my advice. Just avoid him as much as you can. And if you can't, my advice is try to get out of there as fast as you can. He rips the door hinges off. Just keep going. Don't even stop to try to run him over. Keep going. Fix the vehicle up and see what you want to do from there. But all right, you guys, that is the end of the video. As always, drop a like on the video as we do have a like goal of 10 likes and I am close to reaching 100 subscribers. So make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button and turn on post notifications as these likes do help me reach the YouTube algorithm and helps get my videos out there. So if you enjoy the video, please let me know down below. What do you think of Pharaoh? Like, what do you think the biggest issue and problem is with Pharaoh? And how do you do your best to avoid the Pharaoh? Let me know down in the comment section below and I will talk to you all later.